everybody. Today we are going to be practicing our number bonds to 20 and I'm going to be using Numicon to help show those bonds. So the first thing I need to get is 20 and I can show 20 here. A 10 and a 10 is 20. Now I'm going to use, we've got one of these. Do you remember what this is called? It's a 10 frame, but I want two 10 frames together to make a 20 frame. So I know that all of those spots together are 20. Now, what I'm going to do first is we're going to have a little review of our teen numbers. So we make sure that the Numicon can help us. We need to know our teen numbers. So we already know our Numicon shapes, but let's just check. Eight, well done. Six. Good, how about this one? Four. Three. How about the red one? Five, well done. The big purple one. Nine, good. The pink one. Seven. Light blue. Two. And one. Okay, so we've got all of our Numicon shapes that we're going to need. Now let's just practice our teen numbers. Now, some of them you may know just from looking at. So you might know that a five and a 10 is 15. If you don't know that for sure, you can look at the 10. Do we need to count up all these spots? No, we don't need to count all the spots because we know that this is 10. So we can put 10 in our head, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So we know a 10 and a five is 15. Let's have a look. What would this be? If you don't know straight off the bat, then we can count 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. A 10 and a seven, 17. Ten and a six, that's 16. 10 and a 3, 13, 10 and a 4, 14, 10 and an 8, 18, ooh, that's a tricky one, 10 and a 2, 12, 10, 11, 12, well done, 10 and a 5, 15. Good. So we are going to use our 20 frame. We're going to put some of our numbers on the 20 frame and we're going to see what's missing. That's how we're going to do our bonds. So let's start with 11. If we put 11 on the 20 frame, what is missing? What shape would go in that place? The nine would go so 11 add 9 equals 20. So I'm going to write that down. 11 add 9 equals 20. Okay, let's see. What if we had, now I might take this down, put it a little bit closer. What if we had 17 on our 10 frame? Can you see what's missing? What would go in that empty space? Three. 17 add three equals 20. Let's see, how about if we had This is very fiddly. What if we had 16? Can you see what's missing there? What space, what would we have? 16 and four. Well done, because there are four empty spaces there. 16 add four. What if we had 
Oh, let's see if I can make it fit. 18. How much is missing? 18 add two. Well done. So let me show you. If I took this 10 away, and I took this 10 away, eight and two equals 10. 18 and two equals 10. Can you spot that pattern? 18 plus two, or just eight plus two. The eight and the two make the bond to make 10, and it can help us to make the bond to 20. So let's write that one down. 18 add two equals 20. So that's how we use Numicon to find our bonds to 20. Now, if we want, we can work systematically. And that's where we try and find all the bonds to 20 in a proper order. And that's a way that we make sure that we don't miss any of them out. Because at the moment, I've only got four bonds to 20, and I think there are probably more than that. So let's see. What if we start with 20? So we have 20. How many more do I need to make 20? We've got 20. How many more do I need to make 20? I don't need any more, do I? So it's zero. I need zero to make 20. Let's see if I took one of those away. I have started with 19 instead. If I had 19, how many more do I need to make 20? I could put 19 in my head. 19, 20. How many more did I add on? Just one more. Equals 20. Now let's see, what if I started with 18? 18, put 18 in my head. 18, 19, 20. How many more did I add? Two. We're gonna do a couple more and then we're gonna see if we can spot the pattern. So let's see, we've done 20, 19, 18, 17. Add how many makes 20? Some of you may know it straight off the bat. Some of you may have to think about it. 17, 17, 18, 19, 20. How many more did I add? Three. Equals 20. Uh, I'm gonna do a different trick for this one. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, add. Now, I'm not gonna do the counting on trick, I'm gonna do a different trick. I'm gonna do the trick where I cover up the one and I say six, add something. What would be my bond with six to make 10? Six and what? six and four. So let's see. If six and four make 10, if six and four make 10, then 16 and four should make 20. And I've checked it with my Numicon, that's right, 16 and four equals 20. Now let's have a look at these numbers. What is happening to those numbers? 20, 19, 18, 17, 16. What's happening? We're counting backwards. Yes, we are counting backwards. Let's have a look at what we're adding. Zero, one, two, three, four, What's happening to those numbers? We're counting forwards. So I could carry on counting backwards in this column. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15. What comes next? 14. What's the number before 14? 13. What's one less than 13? 12. 
What number do you say before 12? 11. What comes before 11? 10. And the rest is easy, isn't it? 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. And I'm going to run out of space on my board. So we're adding, because we're doing our number bonds, we're adding two numbers together, making the number greater. And here we are counting upwards. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Can you carry it on? 5. What's next? 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Run out of space. And so that is how we can work systematically to make sure we get all of our number bonds to 20. Now, I've run out of space, so I've not been able to do them all. Can you work systematically to write down all of your number bonds to 20? You can use the technique of counting on, so 18, 19, 20, 18 plus 2. Or you can use the technique of working systematically and counting backwards and counting forwards to find all the number bonds. And can you work out how many number bonds are there to 20?